Howdy folks, Spook here again with more Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. As I mentioned last time, the way the loading system works is kind of a little tricky. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is where we left off. I picked the next mission off of the thing, grabbed up a another ability. I think I grabbed Force Protection or Force Absorb or something. Maybe Force Heal. Anyway, off to Planet Blingeal. Uh, apparently to follow up on a little distress call from a merchant ship. Giant desert planet. So I'm always surprised by this whole aspect. You think that, like, you know, your starship would be able to handle lightning? Although apparently we crash landed in the crash land graveyard. Nice work, Jaden. Some rescue mission. Hello? Hello? Hey, you there! Thank the force you've come. This place is... Uh. My god, we've crash landed on Dune! We're in another Star Wars... Not Star Another sci-fi series. That? can find what I need in the merchant ship. Yeah, so this mission is all about platforming. Leaping from these things so they don't detect you. Sadly, uh, you can't walk without rhythm to not attract the worm. They'll just detect you anyway, so. Fuck, 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 fuck! Should be safe here. A lot of people don't like playing this level, or back in the day they didn't like playing this level. Mostly because, well, there's not much to it. Ah, this power converter should do. I'm trying to remember if I can just pick up everything at once. Quick save. Okay, apparently I'm just directing me this way. There's four components you gotta pick up too. I think I'm going in the right direction. I'm not entirely certain. Sure. Hmm. I might be going in the horrifically wrong direction. Fuck! Uh, I did pick up people. Good. Hmm. Ah, I see there's a component over there, that little blue thing. However, I want to save up my force power. So I'm gonna run over here like a crazy maniac person. Let's see whether I, I'm gonna see whether I can grab two pieces at once here if I have to grab like just the one. I don't, I don't. So I can only carry one part at a time, which is going to become much more complicated. Quick save! Another screenshot for my little collection. Nope, only one part at a time. This is going to become extremely complicated. The reason people don't like this level, the reason I don't like this level, fuck, 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 is because essentially this level is just tedious as shit. Find something, run back to their, their thingy here, drop it off. Drop it off. Alright, try not to get eaten by the giant. Fuck! Fuck! The giant angry space worms. I heard you can actually kill them if you waste the time shooting at them, but I never saw a reason to do that. We're safe down here. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to be wrong, though. Uh, t 
tall microphone. Give me a second. There, right, back. It was a tall marker. I had to get rid of him. Alright. Alright, let's repeat what we did before, now that I can actually benefit from it. See, this way I don't lose health. <sighs> I don't see anything near here, but that doesn't mean they're not here. Just in case. I don't know what happened there. I don't want to know what happened there. Something bad. Fuck. Don't touch that ground. Uh, there we go. This one's going to be tricky. How am I going to get over there? See, the deal here is that it's... Welcome to the land of jumping puzzles. Like one right underneath there too. This energy cell should work for the cooling unit. Fuck. So that's how that's supposed to work. Is I'm supposed to jump from like one to one, and they sink into the dirt to keep you from staying there for too long. This one right now is not what we can describe as being too good an idea, however. Quick save! You're gonna see me doing a lot of those during this. Oh. There's another part around here somewhere that's. Just, there it is. This one always pisses me off because, like, it's like you have this whole giant ship. It serves no purpose. Oddly enough, we apparently decided to fly to the desert planet on the same planet we flew to, uh. I don't. Well, logically, they should chase those too, but they don't. This, this guy's hovering right over here, waiting to kick my ass. Whoa! Hungry little, little bastard. Alright, the fifth, the fourth, and final components all the way over here. Let's get this right here. No, I'm not going to lose and let you guys see what it's like to be eaten, because I think that's a stupid idea, and it's a little already kind of tedious. See, the advantage the game has is that every one of these levels has a place where you can... Oh, I could have taken, taken an entirely different route to get there. That was just stupid. I could have just jumped all on all on that path right there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go this way. I've got to get over Where there. Where did I take damage from? <sighs> How do I get over there? Yeah, I basically consist of run like a bastard with four steps. Uh, we got a guy hovering right nearby, though. I heard that if you time these things properly, you, you get it so that like they. 
they can actually like you can kill them, but then they just come back anyway. <laughs> like he just hit my uh, thermal detonator. If you walk without rhythm, you won't attract the worm. Well, that one rolled pretty good. If you walk without rhythm, you won't attract well, this the damper worm. should be compatible with my hyperdrive motivator. Uh, yeah, Jaden. It'll be compatible with your hyperdrive. Yeah. All that talking about. What are we in? Star Trek? This is, how I, this is how I was supposed to get over here. By all of this very tense and ir quite irritating, actually, platform. Yeah. Back over here. This way. Let's get back on our ship. We can get the hell out of here and get out to the Fuck! This, this dude, you a bitch! Right there. Fucker is right there. Can we kick my ass? Force speed! Well, that should be everything. Oh, that should do it. I gotta get off this crazy rock. Crazy rock. Alright. See the advantage of this. Sounds like Whoa. those sand burrowers must have gotten them all. Nasty critters. Glad you got back safe and sound. We'll let Coruscant know to mark the planet as hazardous. Yeah, nice Isaac uses a jump, push, pull, sense. A lot of use of force. Throw, I don't. Oh, because I threw the uh, lightsaber. And we can I have some troubling news. While Kyle and I attended to the crash shuttle, someone broke into my quarters and sliced into my records. R2 is trying to figure out what they may be looking for. Interesting. Oh, and we're onto a cutscene now. We get to spend more time with our friend Raj. So, how's your training going? I've been sent on a few errands, nothing exciting. Same here. I guess that's just how the training works. I thought it was just me. Ever wonder if your master is holding you back? You know, making sure you don't become too powerful? <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, Kyle doesn't seem to really foster my talents. I've gone on a couple of missions with him, but doesn't let me do any of the really important stuff. Hmm. Maybe he's observing you. You know, seeing how you accomplish your missions. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not so sure. What do you think, Jaden? Well, I... Ready to get back out there? Did I interrupt something? Ready to get back no, out there? No, not at all. More giant well, I'm ready. jump Let's over. Go. Uh, all right, next mission. What I was saying before the cutscene occurred was these missions have the advantage of that every stage of it you want you have five missions. You only need to take four at each stage before like the thing moves along. But as you might notice, you gain skill points, force points every time you take a mission. Taking taking only four missions in each one of the groups allows you to fully back up like one of your sides. Like if you want to be all dark side or light side, that's sufficient to do it for you. In my case, emergency system Beckera. Hmm. Mercenary activity, Tatooine, or Colton Vesson on Corellia? Uh, I don't know. 